Okay, guys. New block of tofu. And I'm just going to cut it up just to help me break it down faster. Now, if you remember when I made my cheese, I processed my tofu alone and then I blended my sauerkraut and everything else separate, my wet ingredients. Someone says, why didn't you just process everything together? Old habits die hard. I don't even think about it. Not that I'm lazy. I just don't think about it because I always do things with my hands. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to try that. I'm going to do exactly what he or she said. And I'm going to put everything in the food processor. And guess what? Thumbs up because it worked. I thought maybe my sauerkraut was going to... Oh, I should put maybe my blade. Eh? Okay. I thought maybe my sauerkraut was going to not blend up, but it blended up like butter. So it really works. So thank you for that tip. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to put everything in here, right? Okay. Make our life easy. We're going to start off with a little bit of maple. There we go. I would say about maybe two tablespoons of maple. We're going to add some salt if I could find it. Here we go. And we're going to add... Let's say, yeah, let me measure it for you. I always do that. About a tablespoon. Ah, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for so long. <laughs> Pretty much eyeballed it and I figured it out. One tablespoon of salt. We always add more. So if you're using salt, we're going to add more later. So keep that in mind. We're going to put... Our coconut oil without even melting it we're just gonna put it right in there okay I'm using a kitchen spoon and we're talking heaping we're gonna do one about two two and less than a heaping heaping okay pull out your kitchen spoon for that okay i have some limes i have to consume because they're on their deathbed but the inside of my limes are beautiful, so I am going to squeeze some lime in there. They really are on their deathbed. Look at the color of this lime. But I hate to waste. And I know this is backwards, but that's how I do it. So we've got... I flip it over. A whole line and if I need more I will add more later a nice fresh cheese Oop. I know usually when you see YouTube people that cook they have these beautiful lines that look like they've been painted by Leonardo da Vinci and mine look like it came out of the pits of hell but they still work. Okay, here we go. Let me just zoom out just a tad. Because I keep putting you right... I put the camera right in your face. And I don't mean to do that. Okay, so uh, to this, we're going to put just a little bit of miso. Okay. I would say... Yeah. Let's see. About a tablespoon of miso. Usually I put a lot more than that. And we're going to use 
videos. One, two, three, four, five tablespoons to start off with of milk. And I'm using organic soy milk. Okay, we're going to blend this up creamy, 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 and then we're going to taste it. And we'll see what we're going to add next. Okay, it still needs to get creamed. Okay. We want it super, super creamy. I'm not even going to taste it yet. I'm going to wait till it's done. Okay. Okay. Still has to be creamy. Okay. More lime. We're going to add a little bit of orange zest. Just a bit of orange. Okay. I'm going to use some lactic acid. Okay, we're going to put this back to blend, but I want to add just a little extra miso. About a half a tablespoon of miso. Adding that extra. To probiotics. Tapioca heaping one, two, three, four, five. Give it a little boost. Oh, there's a chunk of tofu there. It definitely needs to get mixed a little longer. Okay. Yeah, there is a chunk of tofu. Okay, back to the drying board. Mm. So good. Okay, we're gonna put, I'd say about a 
half cap full of my OOO Parmesan cheese flavor in this one. I have it, I might as well use it. We're gonna put some caraway seeds as much as you like. There we go. Mm. Very nice. And we're just gonna give this a fast blend. Now I'm peeling some black olives, but you could get them already pitted, it's up to you. Okay, one more. One more for the show. There we go. This I'm gonna munch on it later. Now if you want it super fine, you could throw it into your food process food processor. But no, we're gonna have it come so. That's good. Okay, get my bowl. Hopefully, it fits in here. So good. Notice this one's a little wetter. Now this doesn't have the sauerkraut in it. Or caraway. Okay, I should have got a bigger bowl too. Might have to switch bowls. Okay, I'll be lapping that up. Okay, don't get scared, guys. This, I showed you the recipe. It was like 15 minutes ago, maybe longer, because I love to talk. So, my bowl is still good. All it had was some cheese in it. this in it we're gonna use this to mix it in ok 
Okay. Maybe this is better. Definitely needs more. More salt for sure. Mm, so good. More black olives. Now you're probably wondering why didn't I mix everything together like the starch and the coconut oil because I'm looking at texture. I didn't want it to be too over watery and I also wanted to taste it and see if I needed to add more liquids. So for me it's just easier to add ingredients as I mix it. But since you're going to have the recipe, but since you're going to have the recipe, you could throw everything together except for the black olives. You might want to wait for that for the very end. Mm-mm. Okay, as you could tell, this is it's a softer mixture. Oh yeah, there it is. I wanted some cracked pepper in here. couple of peppercorns if I want. But I know Erica doesn't really go crazy for too much peppercorns in her dish, in her cheese. Okay. Yes. I'm going to use a little bit of my smoked salt. It really won't make it taste very smoky, but I have it handy. And since it's losing its smoky flavor, I'm just using it up. I should just re-smoke my salt. Okay, don't forget we put coconut oil in here. It's gonna help firm this up. But we definitely have to put this in a mold. Very good though, my God. Okay, put this aside. Holiday cheeses. Very good. Okay. Okay. Let's close this up. We do need a bit underneath just so that the cheese doesn't slide out so I need my little wooden cutting board I have to prepare when I do it like this you got to prepare everything ahead of time for instance you need your cutting board it's got black olives it's not the end of the world I'm gonna put uh, yes, I am going to put, okay. we're going to put this first, then we're going to put this, then we're going to put this, and then we're going to add that, okay. Try not to move your... Ah, 
See? I should have starched it underneath. I'll do it. Should be good. I just want to bang it a bit. Okay, trim that paper off. on top this will shrink guys okay very good my god it's very good okay and we're gonna put caraway seeds on top okay Put starch at the bottom, guys. Don't forget to put the starch at the bottom. I'm gonna have to deal with it. Later on. Okay. When you have starch, it's easier for you to press your cheese down. But I forgot to put it underneath. I'll deal with it when the time comes but for now it's good like this and we're gonna put paper on top okay remember what I said in one of my videos what I do is uh, right now I'm using this paper when this paper gets wet I will use another paper but I put this one to dry and then when that other one gets wet, I put that one to dry and I reuse the one that's dry. So this way you don't just waste all kinds of paper. But there is our beautiful cheese. And this is going to be super delicious. Very Christmassy, very New Year's. It has the orange skin. Um, it has the, the salt. It has a caraway. It has the black olives in it. It's going to be a very delicious cheese that you're going to be able to put on the table for your family. And... Uh, this one here, I'm going to get another mold, and I'll do the same thing, except put the, um, on top of the parchment paper. I'm only using the parchment paper, so it doesn't, uh, my cheese won't get stuck on the paper for now. But eventually, as this firms up, I'll be able to peel off the parchment paper, and then it's going to go straight onto the paper as I am draining the water out of it. But there we go. I could actually maybe flip this. Mm, let me see if I could do that. Sometimes you got to get creative and starch the underneath. Let's see if I can do that. Use maybe a plate. Wish me luck, guys, that I don't <laughs> make a mess of this cheese. Okay, let's see. And I did it. Okay. There we go. Okay. I did it. So now, I could peel this back. You see, this is why we should have starched it. But, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so I will use the caraway again. That is a very delicious cheese more fresh it's a fresher cheese not a super pungent cheese okay and now we will add starch see easier to work with sometimes 
I just have those brain parts that, you know, no excuse for it. Okay, so I will put this back. <laughs> put this back. And, yeah, I could just simply just slide this now right on top. Mm. Right on top. There we go. Okay, I did it. Okay. Probably lost a little bit of cheese, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, there we go. Not the end of the world. All right. Since it's starch, I don't even need this on top. I will just put this and let that soak up. And then keep changing the paper, guys, until you see that the cheese is going to be firm enough for you to handle. If it's too soft, you got to leave it in the mold until you can, guys. Now, if you don't have a cold room like I do, refrigerator, it's a must. So cover and put it in a cold space. Okay. All right. Anyhow, I'm not going to make you watch me do that. There's the cheese. And uh, if you want to see more recipes like this, guys, or if you want to see me create a cheese, I've made this. And what I've done when I serve it is I put on top of this cheese, well, hopefully you'll see it. But what I do is I make a black olive tapenade and I pour that on top of it when I'm serving it. So whoever cuts the cheese gets a little bit of everything. So I'm going to say I love you. And if you want to see more videos like this, press the like. If you press that like button, it helps me move up in the videos, especially I was away from making videos for so long. I would love to be able to uh, help my YouTube channel again. So if you can help me, I help you. And I'm going to say I love you guys. And hopefully these two recipes that I have, uh, there's two of them. You'll get them before Christmas. And if you can't make them for Christmas, you can make them for New Year's, guys. It doesn't really take long for these cheese to set. And you're going to have some delicious, yummy food for your family. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video.